welcome to Saloon Build episode 19. So in this episode, I'm going to be working on making my own cement for the panels. Um, so that'll be fun. And yeah, get them cemented and installed. So let's get right into it. Okay, so now that everything's all finished up, I got the table all cleaned up finally. I'm not very big on cleaning up as I go, but it's nice to have a clean area now. So I decided I'm just going to make my own cement because it's just too hard to find any. So I found a recipe that looked easy enough. I managed to get all these ingredients in Kindersley. It took me running around to a few stores, but basically what it consists of is plaster of Paris for like the hardening aspect of it and then you have turpentine i think that thins it and makes it you know thicker thinner depending on how much you put in then you have linseed oil boiled linseed oil i heard that regular linseed oil makes it stink pretty bad when it cures so i don't really want that um i'm not entirely sure what this does probably just makes it mushy and helps it stick together and then black chalk um to darken it i guess and then i did run over to the gym and grab some like just lifting chalk because like this is just chalk line chalk i never even thought of that most of the recipes just had like black pigment or whatever but the guy at the store led me to this, and I was like, oh, I didn't even think of that. That'll work perfect. So I might mix those two together, kind of go half and half, just to get like a uh, sort of a gray consistency so it matches the lead. But I can kind of play around with it and see. So I have the recipe on my phone, so I'll have to stop filming, mix this all up, and then be back. All right, so new plan here. I wrote down the recipe in my little book here. So first thing we need is whitening chalk. So what I'm gonna do with that is probably, I think, I don't know if that's one cup, probably. I'll uh, try it out with the black first and see what's going on here, how to get this open. <clears throat> I thought that would be a screw off cap, but apparently not. Okay, this is the black chalk. So I'll go one cup of that. Ooh, that's not even really black, that's more of a brown. It's going to be the whole, whole container, pretty much. Okay, that's close enough to one cup. And then... I'll do, it says one and a half cups, so I'll do half a cup of the white gym chalk here, if I can get enough of it together to scoop up. pretty messy so I want to sort of be a little bit careful with it. Alright, close enough. Okay. And then 
some plaster of Paris. We need a half a cup. It's kind of cool. I don't think I've ever felt plaster Paris before or remember what it feels like. Okay, half a cup of that and then a third of a cup of turpentine. I'll just use a piece of a pin the channel here to stir it. See what happens. Oh yeah, that is gonna be very dark. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have used that much of the black chalk. probably going to need more than that anyways. That doesn't really look like enough. Okay, well anyways, I'll get a bit more of this mixed up. Um, I can tell already that's not going to be enough. Um, I'll do all white chalk this time, try and lighten it up a bit. Okay, ready to go on the cementing. Now, this is probably about the right consistency, sort of like drywall mud kind of thing. Just from what I've seen on YouTube, that's about the consistency you want and then I guess you're just supposed to kind of work it in like that I say go like against the grain of the lead It might be a little bit too runny, but I kind of want it runnier. Like I've seen some, like it's sort of the consistency of like the other window glazing putty that I use, but I just don't see how I could work that in with a brush and how it would, you know, get right in there. 
but this seems to be working. This looks like, you know, the result that you're supposed to get. Yeah, and you know, that color doesn't really look too, too dark. Now, if I didn't explain it already, the purpose of this is because there's a little bit of wiggle room in between the glass and the cane. This just gets in there and hardens up and just holds everything sturdy because they are pretty floppy. Like you can hear it rattling like when I pick it up. Yeah, I don't know, I'm sure somebody in the comments will be able to tell me if this is too runny or not. But, like I say, I kind of wanted it runny just so it would for surely get in there without too much effort. Go over it at an angle to get those ones. Okay, I think that pretty much covers it. Now, I will sprinkle a bit of chalk on it to accelerate the drying process. And then kind of work it in a bit more.
That sort of patinas the lead too, doesn't it? Well, that's kind of cool. I didn't exactly realize it was going to do that. But that's not a bad thing. I don't mind that. I don't know. chalk on there and I guess just let it sit for a little bit and dry. I think you kind of got to wash it up before it rate dries. Should be good for a little bit. All right, so I got this one sorta of done. I just need to get like a toothpick or something and just sort of go around um, those and then let it dry for a day or two and then come and wipe it off. But yeah, I just, you know, scrape it, just scrape around in there just to loosen up like that stuff but sort of push it in under or leave the stuff that's already pushed under more. Um, yeah, and then it won't all harden in place sort of thing. So yeah, I mean, basically another point of doing that is so it waterproofs it. So like the water doesn't, you know, sit in there or whatever. And yeah, it's kind of nice. It sort of patinaed the lead a little bit, you can see. Like how shiny that is and then that's a little bit duller so I mean those solder joints are pretty ugly like I might even have to I might have missed that on the touch-up but I don't know for a first attempt not terrible and then yeah so I'll be on to these ones now so I'll do them simultaneously and make it go a little easier
right, well that pretty much finishes it off for the windows. I got them all cleaned up and just sitting down in the basement here drying. Uh, it's fairly dry down here. The dehumidifier's running over there. So yeah, I got the other ones that I did for the bunkhouse too. Um, I actually haven't checked these to see. Eh, they're a little bit drier. I don't think I'm leaving a fingerprint anymore. Um, more of just a firmer Play-Doh sort of consistency. Not ready for paint yet, but hopefully by May or June I can throw another coat of paint on those windows. But uh, plan is go to the lake this weekend, uh, throw these in, and then that'll kind of finish up the exterior of the saloon. I'll be able to take like an actual picture of the building, sort of <laughs> complete from the outside. So yeah, I guess uh, we will see you at the lake right about now. And we are at the lake. So what I got to do now is just take the metal out of there and then build in that window. Um, I thought I left the material here from last time, but apparently it's not here anymore. So I don't know what exactly is going on there. So I found that stuff. Um, might work, but might not get this window in this weekend. So we'll have to see. But uh, I'll pop these out and get these panels dry fit in here. All right, well, here goes a first attempt. Uh, I got everything I need, I think. So the window will go just like this. This is the inside. I got that little shim piece to hold it up. And then it'll go just like that. I'll sort of center it in the opening, right about there. This piece will go just like this. If I can get it in there. It kinda doesn't leave the border revealed, but that's not a huge deal. I'm not too concerned about that. Basically, what it'll look like. It's not going to look too impressive from the outside until the light is on in there, but shouldn't look too bad. Nice. I like it so far. So I'll just do the same thing over there, put that in. I guess I can trim that one out first and then go work on the other one. But yeah, then I'll just have to build a little frame for the middle one. Hopefully I can get that done before the sun goes down. Well, those two are up. They look pretty good with the light coming through. I got this uh, little rough window frame put in. I had to make some new pieces because the old ones from that old frame that I made were too small. So now I got this piece here and everything lines up really nice um, with this height. So I'll go cut a couple more pieces and then we'll pop this one in and that will pretty much be it for now. I'll just trim it out and then I'll have to wait to paint outside until it's warmer. I mean, it was nice and warm today. I think I was in Saskatoon earlier today. It was plus 16, still plus seven. So really nice in the evening. I really like those colors, kind of a more masculine color. Sort of fits the, the theme on the outside too. I can't wait to get a shot. Is the light going to come through those yet? No, not really. Ah, you can sort of see it there. 
I'll get a shot when it's nice and dark and we have those lights on. I think it'll look really good. All right, and for the final window, I think we're ready to go here. Wouldn't that be not funny if I dropped this right now? to the inside. This goes this way. Oh, that's gonna look nice. just yet. Okay, you can start to see the light coming through. That's gonna look nice. I'll just have to put a piece of casing along here and then some black paint and that'll all be finished. Okay, I'll uh, finish putting the inside pieces of trim in and then that's about all I can do. Well, that's official. That is the install complete. Um, I don't have enough wood here to put that trim piece on. So, like, I got, you know, crap like that. But, I, mean, I don't know, maybe I could cut something out of here. No, oh, it's not even long enough. Never mind. Um, but, yeah, I'll just bring a better piece back and then... It can all be painted at once. So yeah, next clip will be when it's a little bit darker. Now, for some reason, I forgot to actually do a video clip. So these pictures show it good enough, but you'll see it later on. Now, next morning here, another really nice day out, by the way. Um, these are looking pretty good from the inside. You can see there's a nice color with the sun coming through it. But that's pretty much as far as I can go with the material I have on that project. But I am just working on the bunkhouse windows, putting them back in. So I suppose I could show you a little bit of that, how that's going. It's got that uh, cardboard on there. But if we look from the inside, that's the color. That pink is pretty dull. It's kind of indiscernible from like a purple. So kind of hard to say whether that's pink or purple, but from the outside, it looks fairly similar to what was in there before in the nighttime. Well, that pretty much has it for those two projects. Um, that's going to look a lot nicer. I'll just have to scrape the old peeled stuff off of there. I don't know. It's pretty stuck on there and it just chips away. I'll probably be able to get it though. But yeah, that looks much better. Glass is actually frosted this time, so the neighbors in the back can't be creeping in. But yeah, looks pretty good. Well, I'm going to leave it there for episode 19. Um, episode 20 will consist of some interior stuff, probably finishing off the rest of the trim work, uh, doing the ladder up to the attic, and probably uh, a bar, basically just meaning some sort of shelving thing where 
you can mix drinks on, but yeah, um, almost slipped. Um, so yeah, um, I don't want to make any promises, but I want to say Friday I'm going to have a video out on a, some vinyl siding. So that'll kind of be a fun one, but yeah, other than that, um, stay tuned for episode 20 to come, probably closer to springtime or somewhere in there. But anyways, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Stay healthy, everyone.